is October 2nd, and the first of another double feature, Benjamin Christiansen's Haxon. When I first came across this, I was a teenager in the late 90s. It was being advertised in one of my sci-fi magazines, I can't remember which one, for a video release through the Redemption label. I was surprised that a movie this old was rated for adults only. Unfortunately, it took me a few years before I actually got to see it. And it is one of the most important movies of 1920s cinema. This is one of those movies that shows how creative European cinema was at the time. You had your pioneers, your daredevils, thinkers, progressives alike, expressionists, impressionists, thrilling, wowing, scaring audiences. Haxon explores witches and superstitions, demons, and one horny, big devil through different periods of time, history, and perspective. Torture through its many guises, the devil-tempting, God-fearing folk, the medieval inquisition. What's striking is that it's made in the documentary-like format. It's fictional, but derives from historical texts that the director had meticulously studied. And this was the final product. Naturally, Christian Sen was going to have some trouble getting it made, so he opted to shoot it in Sweden rather than his native Denmark. When it was finished, it premiered simultaneously in four cities which is incredible and it didn't go over well with critics here's my favorite quotation from variety magazine wonderful though this picture is it is absolutely unfit for public exhibition i mean can you imagine the moral outrage if it was released uncensored in britain and america of course it was banned in both countries but it was censored wherever it was certified. It did return in the 1960s for American audiences. MGM had promptly decided to sanitize it and rename it Witchcraft Through the Ages. Today, it's freely available, completely uncut and in beautiful high definition. Christensen lives on.